Just stand comfortably here. Find your balance in your position. Equal on both feet. Without moving your leg, anything from the waist down, lift your arms up and forward fold. Bend your knees a lot so your fingers can touch the floor, your hands can touch the floor. Halfway lift, come back down again, forward fold. And we'll come into a seated position. We'll be using our yin yoga today, which is something our athletes really like, our students really like. So with your feet straight out in front of you, lift your arms right up over your head, take a deep breath in and fold forward. Doesn't matter if you can touch your toes or not, just touch anywhere that feels comfortable for you, whether your, your knees or your shins. Just have your hands supported somewhere. Bring your head down as much as you can, relax through your eyes and your jaw. We're going to hold these poses for a good amount of time so that we actually create a physiological response. And in fact, when we do these stretches when we're a little cold, we'll get at the joint a little bit more and not so much on the muscle. A little bit on the muscle, but our focus is the joint. So here you might feel a stretch in your hamstring and calves, but I want you to pay attention to your hips. Your hips and the muscles and the joints in the lower back. Keep breathing here as we talk about our breath work. We create better movement the better breathers we are. The more we can create dynamic, reactive movements, we can create more power when we breathe well. So this is a great time to practice that. You really get a sense of how your body reacts when you breathe. Stay here for another 15 seconds. Then we'll lie down on our back for our rebound. We'll slowly let go, lift yourself up and back. We take this rebound to allow our fluid to change in our body, to settle. You might feel a bit of heat or warmth going down your legs or into your back. We're doing everything just a little shorter today because this is our quick in class, but you'll get the idea of the poses and maybe you want to do them a little longer on your own. You can always pause the video and stay in your pose for three, four, five, six minutes. Let's come up into a seated position again. We'll do butterfly. Bringing your feet in towards your hips. We'll sit up with nice good posture to begin with. That's the athletic therapist in you wanting that posture. Look for your stretch in your groin, your adductors. And then we'll forward fold. Elbows in front of your knees if you can. And just stay here. Again, letting your Head come down in whatever position you're in. And imagine your knees are coming down towards the floor. Here we're trying to avoid flapping your knees or wiggling or fidgeting. Try and stay as still as you can. Some of the things that we try to practice as student athletes is focus. You can't step out onto the ice or onto the field and expect to be focused. 
when we've never practiced it. So in this moment here on your mat, practice staying present, which means we're not focused on anything positive or negative. It means we're focusing on what's happening with our body, what we're doing, the task at hand. And that's a great skill. Keep your focus, stay on task, and to be present. And as time goes on here, maybe you can try to get a little lower, bring your feet towards your body more. But only when you feel comfortable, just going to your edge. Feel the hips really opening here. And imagine your sacrum is getting wider. It's just one bone, but it's like that bone is stretching. Slowly release, come up just with good posture again one more time. Lift your chest, lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Take a breath and lie down on your back. This is our rebound. I'd love to have your palms up towards the ceiling, your toes pointed to the outside of the mat, allowing your hips to relax. Take a breath. We'll do one more pose here in our hip, hip and hamstring series. So let's come up onto our hands and knees. We'll come into a down dog. Lifting your hips up high. Lift your left leg high. And we'll come forward into a left side pigeon. So that left knee is to the outside of your mat. Your right leg is long and back behind you. You can stay on your hands, come down to your elbows, or bring your forehead right down. Whatever feels better for you. And every day is a little different. So if one day you can stay high, if another day you need to lower, you do you. Here, I want you to focus on your hip, focus on your lower back. Really practice staying focused on what's happening here. Continue your breath even though you're forward folded. Allow your left hip to sink towards the floor, your right hip stretches down towards the floor. You might feel that referral stretch into your hamstring, down the back of your leg, maybe the side of your leg. And when you breathe, I want you to push your belly towards the floor and your rib cage, the back of your rib cage, up towards the ceiling. We'll stay here a little while longer. Take a breath. And again, if you want to do a little longer, you can pause the video, stay in your pigeon. Here we'll stay focused on the task at hand, the practice being present, being focused. 
Come on up onto your hands and slowly make your way onto your back. This will be our last rebound. Just lying down flat. <sighs> Take a breath. Take note how that left hip now feels. You might feel some warmth there. Your leg might feel just a little warmer than the right side. Take the time to lie down and let go. It can be so powerful to have the ability to let go, have the ability to turn everything off when we need to. Let's make our way back into a down dog for our pigeon one more time. Lift your hips up and back, pushing your hands away from you. Lift your right leg as high as you can, coming forward into right side pigeon. Allow that left hip to sit down and back, the right knee to the outside of the mat. Wherever you feel like you need to be today, you can stay on your hands, elbows, or fold right forward. It's a great opportunity to use a pillow or a bolster or something right underneath your chest if you need to, or underneath your forehead. Now we're focused on the right hip. Maybe that bit of referral into your hamstring or the outside of your leg. Take a breath. Allow your left hip to relax down towards the floor. And in your breath, pushing your belly towards the mat and your, the back of your rib cage towards the ceiling. See if you can do that. See if you can feel what happens when you do it. We'll stay a little longer here. It can be hard not to fidget and not to move. It takes so much practice. Let's slowly come up. Roll onto your back for the final rebound. Take a deep breath. Feel how good that feels. You feel the warmth in your right hip down the right leg. The lower back relaxing a little more into the mat. I invite you to stay aligned here for as long as you feel comfortable. Practice your breathing, pushing your lower back into the mat, your rib cage into the mat. And pushing your belly towards the ceiling as you take your breath in. Don't be in a rush to breathe. Make it efficient and strong. Relax through your feet and your hands, your neck and your jaw. You've done a great job working through your hips and your hamstrings today. Namaste.